Take a deep breath in and out. And again, in and out. I've had a lot of brain information. So just let your mind relax. Let your body relax. Let your breathing drop down into your body. And know that one of the gifts of these channelings is the healing energy that comes with them. The message is one thing, a very beautiful thing. But the healing energy that is already in the room and that comes through with the message is for you. So breathing into your heart, let yourself receive in your heart exactly what it is that the energy and the message has for you today. There is always the message of love, and there is always the honoring of the human. But with that comes the healing that the entourage brings to the room, brings to the family that is here with us today. Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. My partner sits in the chair and everything changes. And it does. And there are always those who are here for the first time who see it and question it. Is it possible for a human to shift this quickly. And the answer, of course, is yes. This is the teaching of what the new energy brings you. Not just in my, my own channel partner, but every single one of you. I want to review a little bit if you haven't heard it before, a conciseness of who you are. Sitting in front of me are old souls, even the ones who have been brought here, not wanting to be here, are old souls. An old soul is defined as a soul that has lived on this planet for centuries, who has had lifetime after lifetime for centuries, who has responded to the energy of this shift that took place a few years ago. That is an old soul. And many times the response is not necessarily one that would bring you to the chair. It would be a change. And you find yourself in the chair, not because you're interested in the change, but because you want to know about it, but you're interested in what happened. Why now? What is the future? The planet sits here without a prophecy for the first time in human history. There have always been those who would profit and prophesize and profit from prophesizing <laughs> but not now not in a worldwide situation just a few years ago you had all kinds of prophets giving you all kinds of information and some of it was actually positive but most of it was not the end of the world was coming. You've had that prophecy for 
literally hundreds of years the target date that was known for it was the end or middle point of the procession of the equinoxes that is the beginning and the end of the 26,000 year wobble that the earth has which just happens to correspond basically with humanity and that was going to be the end and you heard it from many modern scriptures had it the ancients seemed to have it but they didn't the ancients told a different story it would be the end of humanity if you did what you'd done before and that is to terminate yourselves yet again but you didn't at the last moment you pulled it out meaning that you changed it and here you are past 2012 with no prophecy because the old ones did not happen the only thing that you can do is look at what else the ancients said for all of your modern prophecies even and including some of the modern day channelers don't know what's going to happen but the ancients they do for thousands of years they knew if you take a look at just one of the prophecies just one that's the Maya why was their calendar over 5,000 years old called the long count it had to do with human consciousness if you go back 5,000 years it is the beginning of some of the ancient civilizations you have in the East in the Middle East it's almost like the last segment of civilization and their calendar went to the end and it stopped and everyone thought that would be the end not reading the calendar for what it said was this that if you passed the procession a new calendar would be needed and it's there a calendar that would represent perhaps the highest consciousness the earth had ever seen because humanity was about to grow up this is the prophecy the only prophecy that you currently have which is accurate and believable because all of the others simply fell over on the floor are there others to look at indeed the ones indigenous in this very country the Lakota the Hopi they didn't know each other so far apart and yet they had the same prophecy the procession of the equinoxes would create choices major influences would start moving on the planet the actual kundalini of the planet would start to change that is a metaphor literally the balance between the masculine and the feminine it's everywhere if you look at the ancients there are those who feel lost because you're in a new energy that is different you don't understand it things may have happened you don't know why all of these things are what we teach one by one we itemize them you are sitting in a time that does have a prophecy dear ones you're just gonna have to look at the ancients for it eventually there will be shamanic energies that will come and tell you what's next but you just started you might say you were just birthed into this new energy as a babe learning your way around it old soul listen to me all you have known is the old energy that's all you've known lifetime after lifetime after lifetime and in comes this energy and some of you are befuddled you don't understand it it's not what you've had in the past you wait for it to return it's not going to return the energy will not return it was and then you look around and say who is it 
that I can listen to? Who is it I can follow? And I'll tell you, you're going to follow the greatest master that ever lived, and that is you. Old soul, inside you is the creative source, the God of gods. Inside you is the shaman that you will be in this new age for yourself. Inside of you is fresh and new intuition. Inside of you is knowledge of what to do, which way to turn, where to go. If you'll take it. If you will assume it. If you will cognize it, meaning if you believe it. That's where the prophecy is. And if you want to take a look at the ancient prophecy, it's in general. It's not specific. It'll say that humanity will start to improve itself, rebooting itself, lifting itself up from the ground. That in the reboot, it will redefine dark and light, redefine what it wants for itself. It will redefine country with country, business with business, human with human. And they all will take on different attributes than they ever have before. And the end result will be a humanity that would start to grow up. And in the process, stops killing itself on a regular basis. You're in the first four years of it. Four years. If you feel befuddled, if you feel that you don't only truly understand what's going on, you're not alone. And that's why I'm here. I exist with my partner in this time in his life in order to tell you what is going on. To tell you that you are made of compassion and love and that these things will start to occur to you in a profound way. Some of you are having trouble with your dreams, I know it's here. And out is starting to pop some uncomfortable things that come from you know where. Who you used to be, not only in this life, but in a past life. Things that you have to open up and examine and point at them and say you don't belong here anymore. Did you know you have that power? You see an energy, dear one, that's inappropriate for you, you point at it, look at it and say, you don't belong here anymore. The things that you would run from because you're afraid, I want you to turn around and point at them and say, you don't belong here. It's not commensurate with my magnificence. And it will run away because you are now in charge old light being and that's the difference I'm here to tell you that and there'll come a day when you don't need to be told because it's going to be second nature to you and the ones who come and you in a different life these are the major changes of this planet at the moment not what you see in your media it is the consciousness shift of the individual starting with the old soul that's who you are. That's who sits in front of me. Even if you deny it, dear ones, I am here to tell you your magnificence will shine through no matter what you think of yourself. And there are those of you who say, I'm too old. Here's what's going on in my life. I can't accomplish this or I can't accomplish that. I'll tell you every single one of you can generate compassion and light every one of you in ways that you haven't even thought of we've asked you to light the major match which will then catch fire meaning light other matches a metaphor for lighting a dark room called the planet earth we'll be more specific and tonight I want to give you some rules of walking in the light coming out of a dark place into a light place you don't just put on your sunglasses 
There are things you need to know. There are steps you need to take. There are habits that you need to examine in order to purify who you are, old soul. So you can walk forward without the burden of fear and worry. That's who you are. That's who we see you are. It is perhaps the most powerful thing we can tell you. There are changes coming. And over a period of time, you'll start to see some amazing things happen. I'll tell you more later. And so it is. Let your breaths come deeper and a little more full and a little more slowly so that your physical being can turn into a receptor, a vessel for the energy and the message that's coming. Feel your feet on the floor, body in the chair, nicely relaxed, and feel the energy in the room that's been created here today. The people that have brought this event to this room. And those of you from where you've come have come here to be together with this family of light, with this family of love. So as you're breathing, let yourself be aware of that love around you. Let it just surround you and let it hold you in this relaxed and loving embrace so that you can be open to the beautiful love that's here and receive the energy because that's what we're here to do, isn't it? To receive the energy, to bring it in, and let it be a part of who we are, a new part of who we are, so that when we leave, we take it with us into our world, but we also take it with us in a way that affects others, that they feel the love, that they see the light, and that they know that there is something different that comes with the honoring and the loving message from Cryon. Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. I want you to put a bubble around this place blocking out all other sounds, concepts. There is an energy here for you. And for some this day, it's an energy of aha. It's an energy that isn't new, it's remembering. There's going to be a lot of these rememberings for you, dear ones. This is what you expected that you're going to start remembering the things of ancient days that made sense, that you learned about, the energies that some of you experienced as shamanic beings. The ancients were you, old soul. There's a lot to remember. You'll remember the various prophecies that even you participated in, knowing at some level you'd be there someday. And now here you are. All of these things begin to make sense in the feelings that you have. This particular channel is one that asks a question. How are you going to do? 
going from the dark to the light. When an old soul has literally been on the planet as long as humans, from the very creative source that gave you the creation story when you were imbued with the knowledge of light and dark you've been alive at some level civilization after civilization even some your history books don't know about yet and you were part of them that's how old you are and each time dear ones you never got out of the playground what I mean by that is it on a scale of one to ten meaning one is is birth literally and ten is graduation you're at about three and a half and that is as far as it got in any civilization on this planet oh there have been some with enlightened starts that then corrupted themselves pretty fast And here you are with an idea that you're sitting in a civilization that was prophesied and beginning the evolution of the human consciousness of the spirit of all that is grand. You have then lived thousands perhaps of years with an older energy. And here you are with a changing energy where light is starting to show itself. Where darkness is starting to flail around because it's losing. Because the very attributes of what used to be the planet are no longer going to be the planet. And all of the systems that counted on control, lack of integrity and greed, are going to start to crumble different parts of the planet first others will will follow but they will crumble because light is winning how are you doing and how will it be walking into the light from thousands of years of darkness what habits are you going to carry It'll keep you in the dark. Just a few attributes in these few moments I want to share with you. Food for thought, old soul. You are the hope of the planet. You are the light of the planet. You are the experienced ones of the planet. And yet so many of you are still in the dark. How are you going to do it? So I'm going to make a list, as I often do, and it's not a long one, of the attributes of moving from the old to the new. And just like some of the other ones that we have told you about in the other lists, number one goes like this. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? We've given channels about health and your ability to mind the Akash and talk to your cells and work with your innate. And number one is always, do you believe it? And the reason that this is primary and the most important is because unless your consciousness takes it in as truth, the rest of your body hasn't got a chance. You are the boss of yourselves. Your consciousness talks to that which is your innate. And you have to be on board with all of it. You have to make it your own. Do you believe it? Do you really believe a shift has taken place? As you look around the planet and see all that is happening in business, in government. It's all strange. It all was not supposed to happen in an old track. It's still floundering in this new energy which has never been tested and no one has ever seen. Odd things take place. 
You take a saltwater fish and put them in fresh water, they'll die. Unless there's a mechanism for them to refine their metabolism so they don't need the salt. You're moving from dark to light. And there is so much freshness here and all you see it as is change. Number one, you have to believe it. And that's the first question I would ask you. When you're with yourself in the closet, do you believe it? Is this really happening on the planet or is it something you heard at a seminar during a channel? Is it wishful thinking that you're really not on board with? Or are you part of it? How many of you have said to yourselves, I see it. Wow, it's really happening. I am in the right place at the right time. I am part of this shift. One of the grandest things that has happened on the planet. I am alive at the right time. I came for this. Some of you may be super analytical and say, I couldn't have come for this. I'm too old. Or this and that is wrong with me. I, I can't proceed. Not understanding that the creation of light, old soul, is something you do best no matter who you are, how old you are or what's happening in your body. The creation of compassion and light is consciousness creation. And all of you can do it. There's so many who have said, I'm not coming back the next time I've done my job. Yes, you are. <laughs> and I'll say it again and again, you wouldn't miss the party. Dear ones, you're not going to make the same mistakes you did this time. You come in with a freshness. That's what is going to happen. But for now, we need you. Just like you are. To, to literally win this war of light and dark while you're still alive and here. And that is why we offer you extended life. When you start to understand how you can heal your body, talk to your cells. Create that which medicine has said is impossible. Some are sitting here right now and you've done it. I know who's here. I know who sits in front of me. Miracles abound with you. Synchronicities are in the audience. You haven't told any about. You haven't told many or any. I know them all. I know what's happened. You are so ripe for this information. Once you have decided that it's real and decide to own it for yourself, own it, then you can begin. Then you can begin. And so number two is, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> what changes in you because you have cognized or owned the fact that there is a dark light shift happening that it is the prophecy of the ages that you are in a time that is unusual ripe with change what is your next step what are you going to do human you contain old habits and it, this is this is nothing to be ashamed of or or be guilty about habits are habits you've done what you've done to survive all your life and now it starts to shift so what if you were to analyze your reactions to things your attitudes toward things are you a complainer you may not even know it but you are because others are because you chime in with them perhaps did you know that this is a habit it's a cultural habit you may not actually believe the things that you say but it's a habit do you have a positive approach to the future 
when you talk to others do you buy into what they're telling you and nod your head yes we're all doomed yes this is awful yes this never will get better yes 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 but without being contrary or antisocial do you instead think about it and say I'm not really sure I've heard some good things I'm a little more positive than that without then stating something that would make them uncomfortable or wrong have you figured out the diplomacy of common sense and joy <laughs> and how you can go against the grain and be not seen as somebody who is an outsider who creates trouble but as somebody who is forward thinking and aggressive with joy there's a difference how will it change you for this to be true will you start looking at things differently what is possible when before you thought it wasn't in your own life will you start taking stock of perhaps what might be instead of that which you've already decided can't be hmm. I'm talking to somebody here who have decided who they are and nothing will change it that's just not true dear ones I gave a channel once about the delusions of the darkness the great untruths and that's one of them that you can't change or that you'll never change or that human nature will always be the same can you get out of the box of the past and start looking forward to something you don't expect when somebody says to you these are the facts these are the facts it can't happen it can't happen look these are the facts this is what's happened in the past can you say I don't know how it's gonna happen but I feel so confident that things can change and that the future is not what we've been told you see we don't know everything <laughs> you don't know what you don't know and therefore there is hope not just hope there's promise who are you one who believes in the shift and how then do you change to show it that was number two number three there are some very old energies in your society in your culture that have always been the same that represent human nature and you have to decide what to do with them you may not be able to change them but you have a choice on what to do with them if you have bought into this this change if you are starting to think positive then let me tell you something there is light on this planet that is not being reported there is light on this planet that is beginning some that just have seeds some that are growing some that are beautiful and joyful and you'll never know about it and the reason let me ask you a question does it make sense to you to be the positive person that you are to expect compassion and joy in your life to start working with that which is around you which is still darkness to push against the dark you come home and you're tired what do you do next well some of you said it would be a really good idea if we turned on the media and watched all of the horrible things that had happened on the planet that day and if we get tired of the news we're going to turn to entertainment where we can watch families argue <laughs> what I'm telling you dear ones is your media is broken right now it is in the old energy it thinks it knows what you want and it's going to deliver darkness on a regular basis and if there's nothing dark they'll make it up that is what you're faced with here is my advice 
select the media carefully that you want to hear and that you believe is true and accurate. Wouldn't you rather have fun things to watch? Perhaps you'd like to watch fun pets, <laughs> animals doing fun things, babies taking their first step, heroic acts on the planet, amazing nature. You can see all of that as much as you want without commercials. This is doable today. So number three is don't listen to broadcast. I say this because broadcast not only is broken, they haven't caught up yet with anything that's happening on the planet. Not yet. Even the channels that will give you that which is supposedly good education and history are biased in ways that you would not even expect. Select what you hear very, very carefully. And that's number three. Let's review that. They haven't caught up to the magnificence of the change that is happening on this planet. They haven't caught up to who you are. They don't know about the old soul. They don't know what would happen if they started programming things that people really wanted to watch. What would happen is exactly what they want. The revenues would go up. I hope they're listening. And that is what people really want to watch, not what they're giving them. They'll come some day, honestly, dear ones, will there be more than one good news channel? And you tune in and you'll hear the best things that have happened on that, that day on the planet. Balanced perhaps with some other things that also happen, but a balance that you have not seen yet anywhere today, ever. Let me give you another one. Dear ones, some of you have friends, family, work. It's difficult to be there because every time you report, all there is is drama. It hurts your heart. Sometimes it makes you afraid. It makes you tired. And you can't do anything about it. It's the nature of darkness. Drama spins often in families. And it's the reason that so many of you light workers in this room and listening have disengaged from the core family. You have become the black sheep. They have no idea you're the white sheep. <laughs> and what is black is the drama that they spin in. That is why holidays are difficult, because you have to pop back into the drama for a moment or two. There are places you will go that you've gone forever in the old energy that are dramatic and that feature drama. I want to tell you something I've never said before. It would serve you, old soul, to find an avenue out of the drama. Whatever that means to you, someone just got it here. <laughs> that was the answer you wanted, my friend. Disengage from the drama. And when you do, you're going to find that you're going to live longer. Light is going to come in. You're going to laugh more. Joy is yours. And you never have to look at it again the way you have now. Lightworker, listen to me. Old soul, listen to me. Get out of the drama. Don't let any situation go to a dramatic place over and over and over while you sit there and let it. If you cannot control it, if you cannot be part of changing it, remove yourself. Why would you sit around poison? Why would you continue to ingest things that are going to kill you? You wouldn't do that. Then why stay with drama? Individually, each one of you will know what I'm talking about. That was number four. Number five is the last. There are five steps because this has to do with massive change. 
I want you to invite back the inner child into your life. Can you remember, dear ones, a time when you had nothing to worry about? When the biggest thing on your mind is how long you could play when you had to come in. That's still there. And it's not an invitation to be irresponsible. It's an invitation to find the joy of the child. And to paste it upon life as you know it. So that there is a friendliness and a balance and a kindness to you. That comes with the innocence of a child who is able to temper everything around them and stay joyful. This is critical. Although it's number five, it has to be because it may be the hardest. With what is around you and the situations around you and the battle of light and dark, I'm asking you to find joy. And in order to do that, there are remembrances of the most joyful things that have ever happened to you and it often it has to do with your childhood the day before Christmas or your birthday the day before some event that you've been looking forward to for so long the excitement that you have and the innocence that is yours that you want to jump up and down and just be a time when you are so in love with life and I have a statement to make, dear old soul, that the evolved human being has the opportunity to have that every day of their life until their last breath. It doesn't belong to children. It belongs to an evolved human being. That's what makes the difference between the old and the new. Compassion will play its part here naturally, self-evident. Love will play its part naturally. Common sense, self-evident. You don't have to try to love. You don't have to try to be compassionate. It's just who you are. Can you cognize this? Number one, is it really happening? Is the shift happening? And if it is, the wind is at your back. We've said it before. This is the new energy. Welcome to the new earth go from this place changed there will be some who listen to this and say that cry on crazy it's not what I see on the news exactly why well, watch it there are things on this planet that are beautiful that are happening right now that are not being seen I want you to cognize that and know it and believe it and understand it light is winning and so it is.